today we're going to show you the unboxing of a Hikvision IP network camera. When you get one, you will be in a similar box to this one, which will give you basic information of the camera that's actually inside. If we open the lid, you'll see that we've got a basic instruction pack with a user manual in the back, some different models of the cameras and a CD which you'll find basic software for programming the camera. We have a ceiling plug there for external application. If we're going to be fitting in a joint box outside, you can use this to help seal the cable onto the other end of this network plug here where you can plug in your PoE or your network for your LAN to get over your computer network or alternatively if you haven't got PoE there's a 12 volt DC jack connector there for your ordinary 12 volt power supplies. <clears throat> to lift this out of the box what we can see in the bottom is we have a mounting plate we also have an analog BNC connector there which you can directly connect into the camera to focus it with an analog handheld monitor with some fixing screws and securing screws in the pack there. There is also the back plate to mount it from which gives you the facility to mount it onto back boxes of different types. And the most important one is a drilling template in case you've got something that you need to do for yourself. The camera itself if you take the protective packaging on it, it's actually a sealed unit with a foam back plate there to help seal it against the liquids and it's pre-sealed here at the back. It also has the option here to take out this connector here which you can use up to 25mm conduit to make containment for your cables. Inside the protection you'll see that you've got a 2.8 lens with IR for the night time view and it is actually a 2.8-12mm lens that is actually on it which is adjustable by undoing these screws here and then there's just the traditional adjusting screws which I don't know if you can just see just inside the lens there to adjust the lens to what you want it to view. Also inside there's a reset switch to default the settings. There's the port to plug in your analog um, connector for your analog monitor and there's a serial connector in there as well. Once you've fitted it all together if we can put the lid back on we can then connect it to the network using this RJ45 connector and as my one of my next videos I'm going to show you how to change the IP address from the default IP address using the simple software which is on this CD that you get with every single camera. There is a serial number <coughs> on the bottom of each one of these cameras which is on this label here um, <coughs> which you can store and other than that the camera is Pretty average size, it's uh, creamy off white in colour and in appearance it seems to be a, like any external IR rated camera. Like I said, I'm going to be putting more videos about these cameras on at a later stage. I hope this video was of use to you. Any questions, just ask thanks.